The grievance study gang has struck again. These, you may remember, are the impish liberal academics who decided to submit articles filled with absurd leftist nonsense to academic journals to see if the journals could tell the difference between fake articles filled with absurd leftist nonsense and the real articles filled with absurd leftist nonsense they usually publish. And no, they couldn't. The academic journals accepted articles on subjects like dog rape culture, fat bodybuilding, and whether it's okay to put white male students in chains to help them overcome their sense of comfort. I am not making this up. But in what is perhaps their masterpiece, prankster academics James Lindsay, Peter Bogosian, and Helen Pluckrose submitted a rewritten section of Adolf Hitler's psychopathic screed Mein Kampf to one of the top feminist journals in the country, Ophelia, and Ophelia accepted it. Ophelia editor Shrieky Virago defended her decision to run Hitler's piece, saying, quote, you know, it seems we got this Hitler fellow all wrong. When conservatives demanded liberty for all and limits on government power, we used to call them Hitler because we thought that's what Hitler believed. But it turns out Hitler wasn't such a bad fellow after all, and he wanted to use victim ideology to oppress people just like we do. In fact, we would invite Mr. Hitler to speak at our next feminist conference if it weren't for the fact he's a dead white male, which could prejudice some feminists against his otherwise palatable views. So. I guess some other feminists will have to stand in for Hitler, pounding the podium and screaming hate-filled inanities, which will at least prove that a woman can do that just as well as any man." Unquote. And okay, I did make that quote up, but the rest of the story is totally true. And while you might think accepting an article by Hitler would give the girls at Ophelia second thoughts about their own philosophy, not at all. To do that would be to accept anti-feminist values, like reason and decency. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show. I feel hunky-dunky, life is tickety-boo. Birds are winging, also singing, hunky-dunky-dee-doo. Ship-shaped, ipsy-topsy, the world is a bitty zing. It's a wonderful day, hurrah, hooray, it makes me want to sing. Oh, hurrah, hooray. 